is there something specific that you can point to um, just uh, uh, from how you, or words are hard today, uh, elevating your play uh, over the past month or so? I just keep working each and every day, never take a day off. Started in the off season with preparation, film study, and just working out as much as I could, you know, with COVID and all that. But it's just been a constant constant progression of me getting better. And that's just what I do. I never, never try to, you know, digress. I just continue to progress each and every week. And um, I don't do a lot of talking. I just, I just do it on the field. Next one's from John DeSager. Hey, yo, Marcus. Uh, Marcus, can you just comment on the depth that you all have in the secondary? And I guess in particular, when you guys have to go to PJ and, and, and Patrick and you don't seem to lose a step with those guys, how comforting is it to be able to have that kind of depth out of those kinds of players? It's very comforting. We have guys that can be starting anywhere, and they, they come in each and every game, each and every each and every practice, and they prepare as if they're starters. And that's how we look at it. Every Everybody in our secondary room is a starter. So everybody prepares like a starter, and everybody's ready to go. No matter if somebody goes down, it's next man up mentality. And that's just that's just the type of environment, that's the type of culture we build back here. So that's that's a kudos to everybody who's just locked in each and every week and ready for the game plan. Next one from Amos Morrow. Yeah, you mentioned the depth and next man up mentality, but is there any correlation to building that depth uh, and the culture you guys have built in the locker room and on the organization in general? I mean, I'm not, I'm not the one who brings guys in. So it's the guys upstairs who do their due diligence and bringing guys in who, uh, who buy into the coach, who buy in and respect the process. And that's what we have back here. Everybody's back here respecting the process and buying in to what we have going. And that makes it easier for us to, to put people in. And even if that's not the original position they're in, they just can come in and they can do their job. Next one from Amy Jess. Yeah, speaking of that next man up mentality, um, y'all were a little shorthanded last week at corner, um, and PJ had to had to move back to his old position. Um, how did you think that he played uh, there last week? He did a good job. He comes in each and every week and does a, a, a good job. You you don't see you don't see PJ slacking off in in the film or slacking off in the practice or slacking off on practice. He 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 does a job each and every week. He locks in. He has a lot of stuff on his plate. And he still and he still goes and, and he performs. So PJ is uh, just like I said last week. He's a Swiss Army knife. He can do. He can play corner. He can play nickel. He can play safety. So um, that's just the type of guy in, in PJ that you love to have um, in your group. And then another one of your teammates, uh, Justin Hardy, uh, really, you know, before he got hurt, holding things down there on special teams. What does it mean to y'all that he was designated for return yesterday for injured reserve? It's a, it's a great feeling to get a guy back who's um, very important to your team. And having Justin back is, is going to add another another um, another great great person to our our, our, our core, uh, special team, defense, whatever he needs to do. He, that's that's just the type of culture they built here. Just just having guys that are able to do whatever you need them to do, and um, it's, it's great to have him back. It's great that he's back from you know being gone for a little. 